An adventure is an inconvenience rightly considered. I said, or if you look the other way, an inconvenience is an adventure wrongly considered. So depending on how you take the rest of this presentation, you can look at my life as a series of horrible inconveniences or a, a life full of adventure. So you're thinking about starting a business, who should be an entrepreneur? Uh, one of the cliches that's kind of catchy is uh, those who can, they do, right? The basic facts, like myself 20 years ago sitting in your place, was I didn't do it. I couldn't, I wouldn't, or at least I, I didn't do it. So, what it. so what's the second part of this phrase that it should be? Is those who can do and those who can't go to college, <laughs> I think. But uh, what if you've gone through college and you still haven't got it figured out? That was my case. So we have to add a third part to this tortured cliche I have here. If you go to college and you still can't do it, you go get a job. And uh, at least was the case for me, you then spend your days at the water fountain, gossiping. You have 1.8 marriages, a couple of 1.3 affairs, 2.1 children, and die unsatisfied. <laughs> so I wasn't willing to face that fate. So for myself, I, you know, I took the next step. And uh, thus began my adventure in uh, entrepreneurship. I uh, always compared myself to my best friend. He did everything right in life. He went to Brown undergrad went to Harvard Law School, and went to the, one of the big national law firms. And we have, there we have his financial life. And uh, this is kind of the, the trade-off you make as, as an entrepreneur, I think. His has been a nice steady rise every year with actual cash coming in. But now if we compare our trend lines between my best friend and me, it no longer looks quite as good. The, the greatest lesson I have learned from this is that if it's just about money, dear God, don't do this. Because it comes and it goes. And you, and you have to be ready to put it there. You have to know what you're getting into. The, from the first thing is you have to have the confidence to put yourself out there. And you can make a business plan or you can do whatever, but if you're really stupid like I was when I started trying to do something with real innovation, some kind of disruptive technology that's 10 years ahead of its time, well, it'll probably take you 10 years. So you have to be able to hunker down and, and survive through that storm and, and believe that eventually you're going to be successful. The question I ask myself with some frequency, and my wife asks me almost daily, is why the hell do you want to be an entrepreneur? So the sort of real reasons, you know, a lot of people do it, is uh, the sense of independence you get, that you don't have a boss primarily. Um, the idea that you want to change something in the world, make it a better place, hopefully, or something and to actualize whatever your personal dreams are. For myself, it was more of a decision to try to enjoy the ride, to have a sense of adventure, live a life of adventure and, and achievement. I think more than money or independence or trying to change the world, that was the motivation for myself.